You guys should try one game with Tarzan on jungle and you're on support for scrims. I'm gonna be honest, I'd rather try cutting off both my hands and feet. And then running an obstacle course. That if I lose, my entire family dies. I need to watch when I called for the invade on the Silas game. And what exactly was being said. Because I remember calling the Silas invade literally, what, 45 seconds in advance? And then everyone being like, yeah, yeah, we can do it. No one's saying anything. And then I go for the invade and like no one's there. And I'm like, oh, wait, I guess I'm just sad. So I just want to like rewatch that to see what's up. To do it. Want to fucking search out? Where is it? Okay. Okay. Let me see this. Just do your raptors, man. No, you can't. No, no. Soling's uh, raptors yes, on sauce. It sucks. It sucks. Bet money. How much you wanna bet? I tried it. It sucked. Alright, let me watch this. We get to play a fucking AD carry. Everyone's trolling. Yeah. Watch it dive. Yeah, the dive was like bad. Yeah. Yeah. Just full yeah. care to bot. You're good. Okay. I think that brush controls will sway for the wave. We still win if even if we go. Lop, lop, lop. I'll, I'll go on a uh, Samir or Zerion. Zer okay. Yeah, they don't have glacial. Lop, lop, lop. Alright, let's watch. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe wait for. I'll play for level two. Yeah, yeah. Play for two. So Johnny did a uh, blue start, by the way. Oh no, actually she did a raptor start. Wait, no, she yeah she did. Okay, so such oh, yeah. raptor start three camping towards top. Yeah, fine, I'm chilling. I can. Lop lop. Right. <laughs> Let's see when I call it. I'm walking out. <laughs> Just slow push this. You guys right? We can invade the red or blue if you want, but... Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. we don't do this all. Three camp. 216. We can invade their blue if you want. 216. Add Dantes, humble yourself, and in-game yourself. Enjoy the two weeks. 216. We can invade their blue if you want. Okay, cool. My uh, top side, and then I'll get vision over there. You so, crazily enough, I wasn't even the one that headed the invade call, right? Let's watch. My cross. They play like Turkish football. May work play. river right yeah. now. Or like I play like Turkish football. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to fucking not get beat down by Trundle and then there's our mid lane saying I'm a Turkish pro player. <laughs> He's also saying clap, clap, clap. Yeah, okay, uh, yo, yo, guys, I'm gonna get vision bot side. Do we go tier this champ or do we just. 250! We see I'm here! I say, yo, guys! I'm gonna go. No one says a thing! Nobody says a thing. Just go full of ages now. I'm hovering right now. Nah, just go full full. Nobody says a thing. I don't hear a single person saying, don't invade, don't do it. We have no prior, we can't move or anything. All I heard this game so far was, we can three camp invade, and then I'm hovering. Cool, now let's keep watching. I just go AP, yeah. They're moving. Yeah, yeah, they're they're ah, and now three minutes they're moving. I'm finding Pat or Nautilus. Hello, Vladimir's there. I'm in lowest right, Let's go back vault. Let's go back vault. And now we'll see what happens. I don't test, but look at lanes. The game change. Use your F keys yeah, and use the next two week timeout that you have. To think. I'm going for a call. Nobody's disputing it. No one's saying anything. And then, listen. Like, only side has had flash there, lol. Yeah. Okay. So, if you're gonna invade, you need red buff. Like, I don't know why you're starting blue side invading. Like... Ah. Okay. So, I went from being. 
we can actually look for an invade, bro. Two. Yeah, guys, I'm going. Two. Okay, I have hover, I'm good. So now, the enemy four-man collapses on me. And then I get told, why are you even looking for an invade if you don't have red buff? I mean, the invade was good. It was just the fact that the enemy got first move when I, when I was, like, calling it out, you, like, 30 seconds. literally, he, like, I, do you see my health bar in the chat? Yeah, yeah, but even if, if they're mid-realms, if our... No, shut up. They're so even. Don't make this play. Ah. And then, there's, there's no even. Don't make this play, dude. Okay, cool. Okay, cool. Nice. There's no even, don't make this play, dude. The extent of your model's communication is leading up to this point. Plop, plop, plop. TF Blade, are you a Turkish pro? And then I get told, damn Dantes, solo losing every fucking scrims because you always go for bad calls. Oh, really? Damn, that's fucking crazy. The comms from my team's in question. Plop, plop, plop. TF Blade, are you a Turkish pro? Hey, Dantes, want to look for the invade? I have hover. Nice. Then I say, let's go for the invade. And then I get blamed for the loss. I get flamed and I get told, dude, I don't understand why you always do bullshit like that. Cool. Nice. Great fucking game. Bro is delusional. Nice. For no reason, level one. It's on. Bro is Where's delusional. Bro is delusional. Bro, it was your fault. You did a call, nobody acknowledged it, and you committed. Oh. Okay. Well, I'm just glad that you committed to having a bad opinion. Enjoy the two weeks now. Like... Guys, guys... And I need you guys to be honest with me for a second. I need you guys to be honest with me for a second. Considering now, rewatching the VOD, type 1, if you think, damn Dantes, I guess you're really fucking over your team, aren't you? And type 2 if you think, damn, it just seems like insane miscommunication from literally everybody in the game, and then it getting pinned on you. Like, I I genuinely need to know, because I don't even fucking know at this point, honestly. They didn't hear your call, I think, at 2.15. Yeah, but you have to understand, right, that when I have... My bot lane telling me, like, they literally told me when I was on my second camp, hey, Dantes, we can actually look for an invade, right? And then when I look for it, and then I get told, hey, guys, uh, when I stay, I'm like, hey, guys, like, I'm, I'm looking for it, and then I'm looking for vision, I'm looking for this, and then I get told I'm hovering. At that point... You know what I mean? Like, you guys just have to understand how insanely fucking cancer this is, and insanely fucking cringe this is, because I'm sitting here, right, trying to say, okay guys, we need to find ways to make plays, we need to find ways to get advantages, and then it's like, after all this is happening, it's kind of like I go for plays, I say, okay, I'm going to try this, I'm going to do this, I'm going to do that, and then at the end of it, it's always, damn dude, you just fucking entered. It's the equivalent of when you're playing solo queue, right? And then your top laner says, yo, can you gank? And then you're like, okay, I can gank. You clear all the way towards top. You go for the top gank. And then your top laner is AFK in the bush, right? And then you're like, what, what the fuck? Why, like, why are you not fighting? And then he's like, oh, I just used all my abilities five seconds ago. Can't actually go in. Sorry, bro. You know what I mean? And like, you ping the gank too and everything. And you're just saying that like, <laughs> what the fuck am I supposed to do now? Just admit you're delusional. Yeah. Super delusional. I'm delusional for thinking that my support saying, do you want to look for an invade on his blue? And then me saying, yeah, I'm down. 
And then us knowing that Sejuani is going to be on the blue. And then me saying, okay, I'm going to look for it. Yeah. That's just me being delusional. My bad. What's your? Yeah, yeah. Play for two. Sejuani did a uh, blue start, by the way. Like. Oh, uh, no. I... <laughs> Maybe wait for well, play for level two. Yeah, yeah. Play for two. So Joanne did a blue start, by the way. You literally said get vision. Okay, dude, I misspoke. I said get vision instead of commit for the invade. Regardless, you know that your jungler is going to the enemy's jungle camps. It's not Dantes' fault. Blame bot. But see, this is the thing. It isn't blame bot. It isn't blame mid. It isn't blame jungle. It's blame the fact that nobody's actually saying anything. That's the thing. Nobody's actually saying, like, okay... I can do this, I can't do this, right? Like, what should be being said, right, in the general sense of the game, is, oh, we could actually look for that, sure. And then, at that point, your motto should be saying, okay, guys, Vlad's shoving me in, uh, there's nothing I can do, I can't rotate. If you go, it's numbers disadvantage. And then, judging from that, then everyone might say, okay, you know what, actually, we're not going to do it. But the problem is, that when you throw a call in the air, no one disagrees to it, and then you commit for the call, and then... After the call, people that said nothing are then saying like, yeah, you fucking trolled. It's the most insanely cancerous experience that you're ever going to go through. Because it's like, it's like sitting there and you're in a group project. I'll give you guys a perfect fucking example so you can understand. It's like being in a group project and then the teacher says, what's 2 plus 2? And then I look at my teammates and I say, and then one of my teammates says, is it 5? And then I say, yeah, you know what? I think it might actually be five. Everyone else is silent. And then I'm looking around like, okay. I say, all right, I raise my hand. No, it's actually four. You guys get minus points. And then the other group members are like, damn, dude. What the fuck, bro? How did you think it was five? But I mean, how the fuck am I supposed to sit there and just be like, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, dude. I get no information from any of my laners. I get no information from anyone. I get... All I get thrown is, hey, dude, want to look for an invade? I say, yeah, sure. I path for the invade. I go for it. No one's making any calls against it. And then, boom. Like, what the fuck am I supposed to do? Nice flash, bro. Nice flash. Yeah, nice two-week timeout. Cheers. You need to look at your lanes. Don't just invade with zero brain. Oh, really? Twitch chatter just, just fucking realizes that at the end of the day, yeah, sure. Looking at my lane states, yep, that's a really great idea. But laners also telling their jungler, no, Dantes, we can't. Oh, maybe that would also be a great idea too, wouldn't it? Oh, maybe, maybe that would actually be a great idea too. Instead, I get plop, plop, plop. You know what I mean? And then I get people being like, damn, dude, you're so losing all these games. You're fucking griefing. Oh, yeah, sorry, I'm fucking griefing. Yeah, no, oh, my bad. My bad for fucking griefing. And you know what the, like, worst part about it, too, is? Like, let's watch. I'll, I'll show you guys what the worst part about it, too, is. 4K damage anyway. Oh, 4K damage? Don't worry, 1.2 million. Second time out for you. Enjoy. So the worst part about it too is that Tarzan said uh it wasn't this game, it was the game before, wasn't it? So in the game where Tarzan said like, yeah, let's actually look for the invade, right? The craziest thing too is I'm like 99% sure that they didn't even hard shove the wave. So he says we could actually look for an invade. I say, yep, let's do it, let's play for it, all that shit. And then afterwards, right, I go for the actual call. But if you guys actually look at what happens in the lane. Like, yeah, troll flash, whatever. Let's watch. So, here's when Tarzan says we could actually play to, like, uh, look for an invade. Here's where he says it. And I'm like, okay, let's do it. So, wouldn't the big thing here be just start spam autoing everything? Am I wrong? Do I just, like... Do I just not play bot lane? I, I think that here, it's like, okay, let's look for, like, spam autoing, using abilities on the wave, everything. Am I wrong? But it's like, okay, playing more for, like, last hit, all that shit, whatever. 
Like, listen, it's fine to do this. But if you're going to do it, at least say, Yo, Dantes, we actually don't have prio. We actually can't move. Yo, Dantes, we actually can't do anything. Because at no point, even while I was invading, did anyone say, Oh yeah, we actually can't move. All I heard was we have hover. And then after the play ends, that's when I get told, Dude, like, we couldn't have done anything. It's like, oh, well. But if you're not getting acknowledgement on the play, why are you expecting anything from them? Not getting acknowledgement. Who was the first one to bring up the invade that game? Who was the first one? I'm on my... The end of my blue buff, and I hear Tara saying, Yo, guys, let's actually... We can look for an invade on their blue. That's what Tarzan says, right? Oh, okay, we can look for an invade on their blue. Then I say, okay, I'm gonna go in. I'm gonna go for it, like, I'm down. And then after I'm walking towards it, no one says a fucking word. And you're telling me, Dantes, nobody said a fucking word about not going for the play. So you going for the play and I'm them blaming you after is actually justified. You're a fucking retard. I'm going to be completely honest. You are an absolute fucking retard waste of oxygen in game. If you genuinely truly think that. Yeah, dude, like, at this point, you have to understand that if you're still blaming me for everything that happened, you have to be doing the most insane mental gymnastics ever to get to the blame Dantes conclusion. You have to be. Oh, your team isn't saying anything against it? Perfect. That's your fault. What? <laughs> it's like, like, uh, okay. And the, you have to understand, the cancer thing isn't like, oh, the play goes bad. The cancer thing is, play goes bad, and then I hear my support. Ah. Oh. Why are you invading without fucking red? My mid laner. Dude, I have no fucking HP anyways. My ADC. Dude, didn't we say that we wanted to play for three camp into bot this game? What the fuck am I hearing? What the fuck am I hearing? Like, do you understand how insane this is? Do you understand how insane this is? No one says anything! The only comms thrown around are Wanna go for an invade? Blah, blah, blah! Is the upgrade a Turkish pro? And then I say, alright guys, let's do it! And then no one says a thing against it! And then after it's... But dude, didn't we say we were gonna 3 count towards bot? But dude, I had no prio! But dude, you didn't even start red! It's like... How insane does this have to be? This is what happens when Hecarim is banned? Yep, and this is what happens when you get a two-each timeout. Enjoy, Nephi. Cheers. Ah, Dante, silence is not consent. Well, <laughs> maybe you should have abided by that silence rule. Enjoy the two-week timeout. Anything goes wrong at all and they just start blaming jungle. But see, like, that's the fucking cancer thing. Because it's like, you can't just sit there, give me absolutely no information whatsoever. I go for a play, gets called as a bad play, and then all of a sudden it's... Damn, Dantes, you fucking trolled us. Like, if no one is saying anything, if no one is being like... And then the crazy thing, too, is that detention was like, didn't we say we were gonna play for a 3 cam towards bot this game? Dude, what 3 cam towards bot this game? Where do you even see a 3 cam towards bot opportunity? There was no trade that went on. There was like nothing that went on. These both bot laners are still full HP. And then they said you weren't taking the game serious? Like, I'll admit, my flash level 1 was troll. I admit. I saw Sejuani was there. I saw I had a Pantheon, but it's true, we don't have the damage. It's true, my flash level 1, I'll agree, was troll. But how the fuck can you sit there, and then after everything that was said early, and then the worst part too, it isn't even just this, it's that then it becomes a whole, yeah, no, nah, Dante has fucking trolled the scrim suit. Yeah, Dante has fucking into the, the scrim suit, yeah. Yeah, you know, like, I, I don't know why you can't just clear, I don't know why you're going for these plays, I don't know, dude, like, we're supposed to go for, like, how the fuck can any of this happen? How?
What do you not understand? Tarzan said to look, which means it's an option, and to check your lane sights, obviously. You are also refusing to communicate as well. Well, you're going to be refusing to talk for the next two weeks. Enjoy the timeout. Tarzan said, yes, we can look for an invade. And then after my three camps, I said, yes, I'll look for the invade. I'm going. My team sees me on the map. I'm going. At that point, if nobody is saying anything, nobody is saying anything, then how the fuck do you expect me to sit there after what was said earlier and be like, yeah, let me just not do anything? Like, no, I, I swear, like, I, I swear, anybody saying that I'm self fault and all that shit, like, you have to be fucking retarded. You have to be fucking retarded. If you want to say, yeah, but Dantes, in hindsight, the play itself was bad. You can say that. But to say it was my fault is the most insanely retarded thing you could ever say. Because a play being bad and it being my fault are two completely separate things. If nobody's communicating, nobody's saying anything, the only comments thrown around are, yeah, we could actually look for this, then obviously, if I'm saying, yep, I'll play for that, and I'm pathing towards it, and I'm doing all that stuff, then obviously that's going to be the play that I'm going for. And then when I'm getting four-man collapse on, right, and I'm getting fucking, like, cancer, and, like, everyone's jumping on me, and then after it's, dude... Why are you even looking for that? Why are you even doing this? You're trolling the scrims, dude. Like, how am I even supposed to take that serious? Stop invading. Stop ego invading. Self-accountability. Ah, yes. Self-accountability. Yeah, dude. Self-accountability. Let me just... Like... <sighs> do... Okay. Self-accountability. Yeah, sure. Let's apply self-accountability to every member of this team right now. Self-accountability to our mid laner. Never talked about mid a single time. Never said Vlad has first move. Never said, guys, I can't get any kind of prio. Invading early is bad when the call was broached level 2. Self-accountability on our fucking support. After saying he could look for the invade, doesn't retract the call, sees I'm talking about it, doesn't take it back, sees the enemy gets first move, says I'm hovering, never says you're getting collapsed on. Self-accountability self for my ADC, after the play goes bad, right? After everything happens, then afterwards, saying, hey dude, maybe you should have just three camped, instead of saying it as the game is going on and as calls are being thrown out. How about self-accountability for every single fucking player on the team? How about that? Like, you have to understand that right now, there's a massive difference between team play and between solo queue play. I went for a play this game that wasn't a solo play. It was one that was revolving around my team, which is what you're supposed to do in team play. And if my team is just throwing out calls out there, I'm committing to them, and then afterwards, they're being hindsight Andes, saying like, oh yeah, you know, that was actually really bad to go for, then that's not on me, that's on the team as a whole. Definitely your fault, though, bro. Stop being delusional. Yeah, I was a little too fucking free with the two-week timeouts. Enjoy your perma. Oh, you made it? Yeah. Thank you. More words per minute than damage per minute? Oh, don't worry. You're gonna be saving words on, uh... You're gonna be saving words per minute when you have the next two-week timeout. Cheers. Should they take the blame for you inting on that invade? No, but you should take the blame for being permanent for my chat room. Cheers, bro. Enjoy it. Like, I'm telling you, all of you guys that want to just give me cancer, you can all enjoy. Why not at least watch the map? You're permabanned. You're permabanned, and then now we'll go over the VOD. It's a permabanned. October 25th, 2023. Enjoy the perma. Let's actually look at the... I'll show you it one last time. Before I play, it takes two. All right, I'm going to play It Takes Two for like half an hour. Are you guys ready? Type one if you guys are ready. Who's ready to watch once again? Last time I'm showing this on stream. Use your eyes. Yeah, use the next two-week timeout to think about what you just typed. Cheers. 
Look at this. Look. Okay. Look at this. Look at this. Okay. So watch this. Last time I'm doing it, mods, anybody that says I'm wrong or that I'm retarded or that I threw the game, instant permabans on every single one of them. Every single one. Saying, Dantes, you're wrong. Dantes, it's your fault. Anyone saying shit like that, instant permabans. I don't care. Following for three years, four years sub, I don't care. Instant permabans on every single one. Watch this. Look at this. Let's watch. So Johnny did a uh, blue side, by the way. Oh, uh, no, actually, she did a rock her side. Wait, no, she, yeah, she did. Okay, so Sedge rock her side, three camping towards top. Yeah, fine, I'm chilling, I can... Plop, plop, plop. <laughs> My mid laner says plop, plop, plop. That's as calm as this game. White. I'm walking out. <laughs> Yeah, I'll put everything away. Here, just give it to me and I'll put it all away after. I'm just looking at some right now. Yeah, you are, because if you don't, I'll never wash your shit. Yeah, well, I will. Oh, don't worry. Don't worry. I won't wash anything. We can invade the red or blue if you want, but... Yeah, yeah. Okay. We could invade the blue if you want. Called out by Tarzan at 2 minutes 15. So, so far, we're going to do a, a comms, a comms check, okay? Mid. Plop, plop, plop. Support. 215. We can invade blue, right? These are all our comms. I think what I'll do is I'll 3-camp my uh, top side and then I'll get vision over there. You are going to be right there. My mid laner then says, Blade, are you Turkish pro player? Okay. May work right yeah. now. Or like Blade, are you Turkish pro player? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to fucking not get beat down by Trundle and then there's that mid laner saying I'm a Turkish pro player. He's <laughs> also saying plop, plop, plop. Okay. So now you see your junglers moving. Yeah, okay. okay, uh, yo, yo, guys, I'm gonna get vision bomb. 250. 250. Guys, I'm gonna get vision. Spam pings on blue. Mid laner says, "Do I go tier or rod?" I'm hovering right now. Support says, "I'm hovering right now." I just go for the full AP. I just go AP. Yeah, they're moving. Yeah. So then, by the time I already start attacking the Sejuani. They're moving. Coming. And then. Collapse up. Collapse on by four. Okay. Cool. So we're three minutes 16 in the game, right? And so far, the only comms that I've seen. The only comms that I've seen are. My mid laner just giving out like troll comms, like whatever. And my support saying 215, we can eight invade blue. And then also saying I'm hovering. At no point did anyone say I can't move, I can't rotate first, don't go for this play, nothing. Now watch what is said afterwards. Wait for it. Yeah. Okay. If you're gonna invade me, I don't know why you're playing blue side. Okay, dude. Oh. For how much I'm friends with Tarzan, this shit will fucking piss me off to no end. You see that I started blue this game. You saw that I started blue. You sit there and you say at 215, we can invade the enemy's blue, by the way. The play goes bad and then all of a sudden it becomes, I don't know why you're invading it.
if you don't have red? Why even call it then? I mean, the end was good. It was just the fact that the enemy got first move on it when I was like calling it out like thirty times. Literally, like, I, do you see my health bar? Midbrainer says, "But do you see my health bar?" Which he at no point communicated to the rest of the team. At no point did he ever say Vida has first move. At no point did he ever say don't go for any kind of play. He just sat there mid and said, "Plap, plap, plap." Tf played, are you a Turkish pro? And then no shut up no shut up what no shut up what like if your only fucking comms are gonna be plop 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 is tf played a turkish pro then obviously your jungler isn't gonna have a full idea on what's going on i think that's like fair to say and when i'm making verbal call outs and you're hearing the verbal call outs and you're not contesting the verbal call outs it makes me think that you're gonna sit there and be like, you know what? Yeah, maybe something can happen here. Tarzan says, Blue Gromp Red invade enemy blue. O dot O. You skip wolves. You did wrong path. MB bro. Yeah, but you saw me go for the wolves. And then you saw me move towards blue. And your only thing was I'm hovering. Like, you can't be a hindsight Andy. And this is... No, 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 Tarzan! No, okay, look, I'll get in Discord with you, but it's not to talk about what you think it's to talk about. Look, call me right now. What's up, call? Okay, listen, we're not going to talk about the path at all. What I want to talk about isn't the path. It's not, oh, if you do blue, grom, nothing like that. What I want to talk about is the fucking comms. You, okay, so, the main issue with the comms is that the comms aren't giving me an accurate idea on what's actually going on, and we're not actually establishing what needs to be done. Like, you can sit there and you can say, oh, dude, if you had red, we could have actually went for it. Oh, if you did this, we could have went for that. But in the moment during the game, you can't just say, oh, yeah, by the way, we can look for this. And then just leave out, oh yeah, but you're gonna need red buff. Oh yeah, but you're gonna need to do this. Like, you can't just make flatline callouts. Like, oh yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna like, uh, we can look for this invader, that, or we can do this or that. And then, like, I can't read the mind. I can't be like, okay, yeah, I'm gonna like 100. Relax, relax. This is like four hours ago, we settled this for here, you go Yes. No. Why won't I? Yeah, but okay. <sighs> Let me ask you a question. If I have red buff there, if I have red buff, imagine I don't have wolves. Would that have changed the fact that the enemy bot and mid get first move? Yes or no? Yeah, but they got first move. They were on the blue buff first. They were attacking me first. Okay. Would yeah? Would the mid lane or would me having red buff have changed that? Yes or no? <sighs> okay okay but see like this is the issue like and and this is like again the biggest problem the biggest problem is that the problem isn't the calls that are being done in the game and this is what i feel like everyone on the team doesn't understand the problem is the communication and the way Things are always just like hindsight plays, but at the current moment, nothing is ever being said. Like a perfect example, let's let's but let's like chuck this up as an example of that. Another good example is like when we go for dives with TF Blade, and then he doesn't really communicate how he wants things to be done, and then the dive goes bad, and then you're just like, oh yeah, but you trolled that you should have done this, and then you're like, yeah, but communicate. It is the same exact thing with me and you in a lot of these things, where it's like you're sitting there and you're saying, oh yeah, we can look for an invade level three, and then I'm just thinking, okay, level three. Uh, blue Gromp Wolves, and then I go level 3, and I go for something, and then I go for it, and then it's just, it just becomes like, oh yeah, blame the jungler, and it's insane. What, uh? Okay, well, first of all, I agree. I think the comms were very bad. Soul laners or AD carries either don't know how to play macro or the map, or both, or they just don't want to speak, I don't know. Uh, as far as me, Yes. I am neutralizing Nautilus. Our team didn't move. What do you want me to do? I don't understand. Like, there's nothing more I can do in that situation. I worry you're blue the dragon. I 
I did everything, every early game I could. There's not more, more I could do. No, and, and yes, yeah, okay, look. So, what I'm saying is that in a play like that, where it's like, okay, we can look for this, it's up to the team as a whole. Like, forget about just you for a second. I already threw it on one. Forget about you for a second. Forget about me for a second. Think about the team as a whole. In a situation like that, it's up to the entire team to communicate and agree on a play. So it's up to the entire team for your model to say, yo, don't invade here. I'm super low. Or detention to say, yo, I cannot get there anywhere as near as Zeri or as fast as Zeri can. Don't go for it. Like these things are what need... I, I agree. Look, and the thing is, I 100% agree. I'm not saying that my comms don't need work, but what I'm saying is that the main issue isn't that um, that certain picks are being done or that certain players are falling behind or that certain people are losing lane or certain people are going for like bad plays. The problem is that no one actually knows what's going on or everybody has too many ideas of what's going on. So as an example, right? As an example, it's either that we have a situation like this where we're like two minutes into the game and there's absolutely no communication besides me and you who are actually like talking about, okay, like what's going on and all that shit. Or we're having situations where we're like 15 minutes in and TF play, it's like, yo, let's stream on top. And then detention's like, no, we can dive bot and get dragon. So it's like the problem is that our team either has way too much communication and way too many ideas of what's going on or there just isn't anywhere near enough. Do you see what I'm getting at? Yeah, I mean, I think you need to, like, call out the timing. Like, I mean, if they pass the next wave, be riding, like, 20 seconds to be there. Like, you're just, you're saying, I'm going to watch through their blue and get vision, but people don't really understand it. So, like, they're focused on their lane, they're, like, block camera. So, I think you need to be a lot more direct and, like, actually, like, set up the timer so they actually be, like, what wave crash. Okay, hard push to wave bottom, I need you at the blue ball. Okay. For example. Yeah. Uh, I could have been there earlier. I was trying to crash the wave. I don't know how. Like, I thought I was gonna stall. I thought I was gonna stall the blue ball. Yeah. Well, yeah, but that, yeah, but that's exactly what I'm saying. Is that I feel like the biggest thing is that communication thing because I agree. Right? If I would have said, "Yo, uh, hard push the wave," I'll just look for vision. Or if your model was said, "Yo, play it slow." Uh, Vlad has first move, and then maybe if I would have walked through bot try bush, you know, like any number of things could have been done differently for it to actually work. But the biggest thing is that we actually communicate. Yeah. Yeah. I, I agree. And that's why, yeah, and that's what I was saying on stream. I was like, the saddest thing about it, I feel is that I feel like we would have a 20 times higher chance of winning these games if there wasn't even any comms. And that just shows how bad our comms are. Because realistically, if this is a solo queue game, we win 100 times out of 100. Like, if none of us have comms. But then it's almost like the comms... We just need to have, like, a step-by-step -step process, I feel. Like, before the games, there needs to be, like, a priority order, right? Like, okay, number one priority is, like, let's say detentions to carry this game. Okay, number one priority order is listen to support, then listen to ADC, then listen to, like, jungler, right? And then, let's say TF Blades to carry. Okay, number one priority order is, like, TF Blade, then Tarzan, then, like, uh, Dantes, you know, like, there needs to be an established hierarchy in all of these games. There needs to be. Because the problem... Yeah, because, like, I'm telling you, but I really feel like the problem right now is just that there's absolutely no communication, and everyone's kind of just, like, playing the game out, but we don't have any sense of direction. It's like we're just playing to play. Right, it's like Jeff Blade saying stuff, like, I need you guys to hover from top, like, when I'm already out of base going, like, to hover, uh, Sharon or something, like, he doesn't tell me, like, at proper times what he wants. And yeah. I mean, no one has seen talk. Like, Yamato is one of our strongest players, and he's also one of the most... Yeah, I think Yamato, it's more of a thing, though, that, like, he's a hundred ping, but regardless, like, I'll tell him tomorrow, like, in scrims, like, he's gonna have to still, like, make calls and shit. I feel like what it should be is in the beginning stages of the game, I think that the highest priority call order should be, like, me, you, detention, and then as the game goes longer and longer and longer, 
I think TF Blade should and uh, Yamato should have more like call priority, you know, because like they're playing more like sideline and shit. You see, what I'm getting it. Yeah, but yes, 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 and that's exactly what I'm saying. Like every game, and I was saying this earlier. Every game feels like everyone's just arguing in hindsight. It, it's really like it's like imagine I, I was saying this. It's like imagine you're you're there and you're like driving home and you like phone your girlfriend and you're like yo you want me to get you McDonald's and then she's like ah sure whatever and then you drive home eight hours later after work you bring McDonald's and then she's like oh I didn't want this shit and she like throws it in your face and tells you about how like three hours ago she started a new diet and how you're a fucking like piece of shit because you didn't like ask her three hours ago and now you brought her like food she doesn't want that's sort of how it feels because what happens is people make these like these like calls and then it doesn't follow through the way they want it to and then it just ends badly every time. Yeah, I mean calm is like the most important thing in pro play and if we have no calm, like all the crowds will be here in twenty seconds. Oh uh, I need a reset or oh, whatever. Like any any fucking information. Like, yeah. Pop pop pod fucking are you Turkish for like Yeah, I mean like and I'll agree, I'll agree. Like yeah, I mean if we are not gonna take it seriously, we are not as you have to have such a massive skill gap in between players like just went off like without comms right yeah like, do i see that in all our players from like the brazilian pros probably not all of it's that big so if you guys don't work on their comms i think we're gonna have some problems and we're uh, reality checking and okay so wait Wait, wait. Ben said you're overthinking this. It's okay the scrims are over. But Ben, you don't understand that if we don't fix comms, it doesn't matter how many scrims we play, we're just gonna fucking lose. Like, this is the problem. Because it's like we're sitting there, Ben, and we have a fucking, like, big fucking, like, disgusting gash in our belly because our belly just got sliced open. And then you're there and you're like, and, and, and like, the blade was coated with poison, so we're getting poisoned. And then I'm there, and I'm like, we need to, like, fix this poison? And you're telling me, yeah, but the bleeding stopped, just leave it. But the poison will kill us if we don't get it out. The issue with our team is comms, and we need to make sure that from now on in all the scrims, we actually try to find out a good enough balance that makes it work. Because if not, I'm telling you, it's just going to be perma frustration, anger, infighting, and it's just not going to work. I remember, like, when I was on like, a professional team, like, a fucking Bob Riff, like, we had a way to work on our comms, I forgot how, it was, like, two years ago. So I was like, I said, you should do. I think, oh, this is it, this is it, I remember. One game, only one person talked. Yeah, Ben was saying that. Yeah. yeah. One game, one person talks, next game, another person talks, only like that, only that entire game is just uh, piloted by one person. Yeah, he brought it up, it's exactly the way we did, it's a really good idea. We should do that. Yeah. So we'll, we'll try that tomorrow then. Tomorrow we'll try one game. But what we'll do is like, we'll draft comps around it too, okay? So we'll have, let's say a TF Blade comp. Where, like, detention's on Seraphine, and then we just play, like, to perma-dive top and shit. Then we'll have, like, a detention strong side comp. And then we'll have, like, another comp, which might just be, like, an all-around comp, and we'll see how that works. And then, depending, either, like, detention can be the shot caller, or Cap Blade can be the shot caller, or, like, I can be the shot caller. Like, we'll see. I also think it's going to be real Like, I respect you. I think you're a great kid. Have good voice, but you don't stand. Like, you're not gonna stand your own. You're like, if this Yamato kid is in my team, saying this dumb shit in the game, I'm gonna pop. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> yeah, but I mean, the thing is, like, I troll comms too. Like, I, and that's the thing. That's why you're not a leader. Yeah. So that's why you're a coach. If I'm gonna fucking be a leader for your team, like, yeah. this bro, going to Brazil, he fucking die. He might even die. Who knows at this point? We're risking our lives for NA to make them proud, and you're sitting here fucking trolling as well. Mm. I know they broke your life, you're 22 years old, uh, this could be the biggest moment of your career, mm. our career together, or this could be a fucking flop of the <laughs> yeah. international group. Alright, yeah, we'll just discuss it tomorrow, I'm gonna play a take soon now though. What time is it tomorrow? Uh, tomorrow I think at like 3 to 4, I think like around 4. Alright, All right. later.